anywhere ever. <laughs> Make some noise and be very generous to KC Ray! What's up, you guys? How's it going? Alright, I fucking love candy, you guys. Like, more than regular food, for sure. I wanna love dumb, dumb suckers, but I have trust issues with them. You dudes know the candy I'm talking about. The ones you'd get from the liquor store when it was too cold for your dad to leave you in the car when you were <laughs> You know they have these ones like mystery flavors? What the fuck is the mystery flavor? You got a couple of dudes just sitting around in a factory, pawning off their work on us. Hey Craig, we don't know what to call this one. Don't worry about it, Carl. Just slap a mystery wrapper on it. Somebody else <laughs> I don't know about you, my dudes, but I prefer to know what I'm sucking on before. <laughs> I mean, what is it? Is it pina colada blueberry carpet fuzz? Bubblegum Christmas tree? Went through the laundry three times watermelon? <laughs> Melted together old-fashioned candies from Nana's Christmas dish? <laughs> A toddler had this one in its mouth several fucking times. <laughs> Craig farted into these ones? Just onion? Dirt? And that one actually is just a dirt ball that accidentally went through production. But they upsell it like 10% because it's organic. You guys, I'm just telling you, there's a reason that other food products don't have mystery flavors. No one here in this room would be cool with going out and getting a five pack of steaks and one of them has question mark stickers all over it and it says, mystery meat. <laughs> I definitely need to know the flavor of the meat that I'm putting in my pie hole. I'm not letting that happen three times in a row. <laughs> And you guys know I was just joking about my dad leaving me in the car, right? They actually left me way before that. <laughs> I was actually adopted and born in Brainerd, Minnesota. Woo! Yeah. Nobody? Woo! Yeah, I wouldn't cheer for that either. It's a fucking terrible, <laughs> terrible place. My parents took one look at me in that town and they were like, nope. And they put me in a tiny little basket and floated me all the way down the river to Rochester. <laughs> For days, you could just hear me like a tiny little baby olive oil. Help, help, help. I finally found my birth parents, you guys, after 32 years of looking for them. Which is crazy. All this time, I was just outside a used car lot, and they were outside the fireworks outlet. Just <laughs> 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 we really, really wanted to hug each other, but I was here in Rochester, and they were all the way out in Washington. So I had to make them walk a half a mile to the east so we could get our arms around each other. Go, go, Inspector Gadget Arms. You know? <laughs> all right, you guys have been awesome. Have a good night. I guess, I guess men and women are just different, because like, I don't know, but when it comes to just about to be sucking on something, I guess I appreciate the surprise. Because it beats knowing it's going to be underpants lit. I feel like you have to have sucked a dick to get that joke. I am. Goose, why are you laughing so hard? <laughs>